Welcome to part two of this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of work in the style of Tyler Spangler. And now we're going to start adding some background elements. So I'm going to go to File Open and I'm going to grab a picture of some clouds that I found. And using the Ellipse Select tool and holding Shift, I'm going to choose a circle that I like and then control C to copy, control V on the right layer to paste and place it where you'd like, maybe shrink it a bit, holding shift to maintain the shape to get it where I want it. Oh, and another thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take everything related to the hand and the ice cream. Now I'm happy with it, select them and I'm going to merge those layers. Um, this is really because Photopia has a habit of um, lagging when you start to put a lot of layers into it. So I'm just trying to stop that from happening. Okay, so now I'm going to put a bit of a stroke around this to make give it a bit of an edge. So double click on that layer um, and go to stroke. And you want it to be 10 and black. Click OK. And that's going to give you a bit of a line around it in Tyler Spangler style. Okay. And then we want some other circles. So I'm going to use the ellipse select tool on a new layer. Press shift, get it to roughly the right size. And then choose a color. I'm going to go with red, I think. Click OK. And then use the paint bucket to fill that. Okay. Um, same as the clouds, I'm going to give it a stroke. So click on stroke, make sure it's 10 pixels and black, click OK. And that's got the same effect. And what I'm going to do now is rasterize that layer so that that line becomes a permanent feature. And it means that I can duplicate that layer um, with ease. So I'm going to move this one over to here, click off, and then go to the uh, color again, change up the color, I think of blue this time, click OK, paint bucket, and fill it. Then I'll do the same again, right click, duplicate layer, and move that, just going to move that down off the bottom there and then same again choose a color and go creamy color I think okay paint bucket fill and you would then rinse and repeat that across the whole of your background to get as many different colored um, circles in there as you like okay right the next thing I want to show you is how to create a kind of surreal effect where it looks like your arm has separated and we're going to put an eye in the part a bit like Tyler Spangler has with one of his pieces of work. So I'm using the polygonal lasso tool to cut around my arm and then I'm going to go down and off the edge and off the bottom and up again and then I'm going to take the arrow tool and drag this down so it looks like the two bits are separated and I'm going to make this a bit bigger so that it looks like a chunk has been taken out and the arm continues. Okay, then I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to grab the ellipse select tool and create a shape and fill that in this case with red and I'm going to paint bucket that in and move it to position that fits best okay and then when you're happy double click 
and you've created an effect that looks like you've separated your arm and have red insides showing. Right, next we're going to put an eye into that space. So I'm going to open up a picture of my eye and I'm going to polygonal lasso tool around the shape of my eye. Um, I've taken this photo of my eye rather than take one off the internet. I think it's best to have as many of your own images as possible so that it is as much your own work as possible. Okay, and then I control C, control V, and I think I'm going to have to zoom out to see it. Yep, there it is. So I'm going to grab it, drag it down, and just resize it and turn it so that it fits into the area that I want it to be in. Okay, and I'm going to zoom in to help me do that a little bit more easily. There we go. Just a little bit more playing. Okay, right. Um, it's quite a dark image. First thing I need to do is turn it black and white. And then I'm going to use the brightness and contrast, up the contrast and up the lightness so that it's a bit more visible. Click OK. And now I'm going to smooth the edges. So I'm going to get the smudge tool and I'm going to make the brush on the smudge tool appropriate size. And then I'm just going to wiggle it around the edge of the eye just to smudge it out a bit. This will give you a little bit more of a blended edge um, and make it fit more nicely into the space. I'm doing this quickly. I would um, definitely advise you take a bit more time than I have over this, but you get what I'm doing. Okay, once I'm happy with it, I then um, I'm going to create a new layer, drag that layer underneath, and the same way as I colorize the ice cream and the hand and all that, I'm going to do the same thing, go around the eye, and then I'm going to color that in white. There we go, click OK. And then paint bucket and fill that area. And I will just show you, see, I've filled that area in. And I'm going to do the same for the pupil. So just go round the pupil with the polygonal lasso tool. And then fill that. I think with a nice light blue. Okay. Paint bucket, fill that. Okay, just show you. See, that's what's happened. And then same as I did with the um, our hand and the cone, I'm just going down to multiply so I can see those colors underneath. And you'll also notice it's got a kind of edge around it. So we're going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and you'll notice that it just kind of blends the edge a bit, and makes it a bit less um, hard. Okay, so those are all the techniques that you can use to create a piece of work that looks like this. You'll see that I added a turquoise background, and I also added a drop shadow to the circles once they were all in to give it a bit more depth. And that ends this tutorial. I hope it's helpful for you.